Defensively, here in the opening 20 minutes as we bring it to you. Perot and Messier on the draw. We're underway. Canucks win it, and it's shot in by Hedekin. Winds up back behind the Kings net. Defensively, Berg with O'Donnell. Berg with the puck. Brings it right up the middle. A pass ahead. Tipped by Glenn Murray. Winds up on the left wing to Berg, and Berg will shoot in. Hedekin chased behind his net. Bumped by Siplikov. Cleared it around, and got it on the left wing wall to Messier. Now to Burry on right wing. Burry to the Kings line. Stops up. Is checked by Berg. And the Kings clear it back to center. Perot now to Murray in the zone with a shot. Save. Rebound. Score! Yannick Perot! 38 seconds into the game. Glenn Murray picked up the puck at the Vancouver line on right wing. Moved in a couple of strides. Took a low shot. Kicked out. But Perot on the rebound. Tenth goal for Yannick, and the Kings have an early 1-0 lead. Well, if you look at the, these two teams in their last game, neither of them got off to the good start. One thing you can say about Canucks tonight, they are consistent. Not an excellent start at all, allowing a goal in the first minute of the hockey game. A great job by the Kings in the neutral zone to take that puck and move it up quickly on the offense. Glenn Murray showing his speed down the right wing, gets the first opportunity. Big rebound comes to the left wing side. Yannick Crow hopping down the net, comes up with it and buries it. So the Kings score first. And they've done that now only six times in 19 games. Play back underway. Stumple's line is out. Over the line, Bahanas. Right circle is shot, is wide. Blake. On a loose puck, sends out Stumple. Three on two if the Kings hurry. Stumple to Moger. Moger threw it at the net wide of McLean. Chased down by Robitaille. Feeds near corner for Stumple. Stumple is checked. Pinching his Nordstrom. Couldn't hold it in. Bahanas breaks on right wing. To the Kings line, a shot off a stick. Blakes and high up into the crowd. Well, how do you like this start for the Vancouver Canucks? They give up a goal in the first minute. The very next shift on the ice, they give out an outman attack. Three forwards all jumping in deep. No one staying back, third man position high to help out defensively. Even though the Kings didn't have a rush, Tom Rennie, the head coach of the Canucks, cannot be happy with the way his team has started this game. Kings scoring 38 seconds in. Yannick Perot with his 10th. One assist to Glenn Murray. Face off inside the Kings line. Lume with it, moves in the slot, shoots, and he missed the upper right corner. Yerky Lume. Veteran defenseman with a great scoring chance, but he missed the net. Nordstrom on the backhand, flips it up, not out. Kept in McAllister, walks in and shoots. Stick save. Rebound in the corner. Cycled behind the net by Vancouver's Noonan. Taken by LaPerriere, cleared but not out. Now Galley with it, avoids a check. Cleared it around to his right for Nordstrom. Backhands it up, not out. Kept in Brashear, in on goal. He centers, but behind Noonan. Oh, a great chance again. Kings finally to center ice. Here's LaPerriere over the line. LaPerriere's pass to his right hit for Shear. Deflects back to center. Canucks back on the attack. Sillinger over the line on right wing. Drops for Noonan. Noonan checked along the near wall. Pinned there. Kings up with a puck. Nordstrom checked by Sillinger. But he's able to clear the puck down. Steos on the touch up. Icing on the Kings. Kings hockey brought to you by Toyota. Reminding you that every day is another opportunity to give something back. Toyota, a proud sponsor of the Los Angeles Kings. Toyota every day. Well, not much of a shift for Matty Nordstrom, the Kings defenseman. Two turner front might have been better off to shoot that puck with a great chance about 10 feet out in front of Fasse. And the Canucks win the draw, but Steos couldn't uh, handle it cleanly at the right point. It gets past him down the ice. Kings with a 1-0 lead early on. Perot the goal from Murray and O'Donnell at 38 seconds. Steos. On left wing, a pass ahead, uh, broken up at the Kings line. O'Donnell had it, lost it, gets it back, loses again, but Vopat is there, and he backhands it to center. Vopat up front for the Kings. He's replacing Don McLean at center ice in the lineup tonight. Walker for Vancouver, shoots back in. Vopat with it, plays it to Craig Johnson. Cross ice feed inside his blue line, picked up by Berg. Berg to center ice, ahead for Johnson. Johnson in the zone, drops it in the slot, but Vopat couldn't handle the pass. Puck out to center ice. Blake for Vopat, tipped it in deep, but Johnson was trapped, and we get a whistle, and now we've got Walker and Vopat. And Vopat with a right, stuns Walker, but Walker 
comes back with a right hand himself and they both go to their knees. Well, Roman Volpot getting in the lineup after having sat the last game has missed seven out of nine. He knows he has to play a physical type of game if he's going to stay in this lineup. Gets in an altercation with a feisty Scott Walker. And penalties here at three. If it's been over 3,000 miles since your last oil change, visit your Southern California Jiffy Loop professional today. Jiffy Loop, every 3,000 miles. Kings on the attack as Vopon and Walker got fighting majors. The parole line is out. A pass to Glenn Murray on the left wing boards is broken up. Kings regroup at center. Perot backhands it in deep. Murray and Siplikov give chase. McLean clears around to Bure ahead for Messier. Feeds the left wing. Nobody there for Vancouver. Now Blake ahead for Murray to Perot. Into the zone. Cuts in the slot. A shot. Save. Rebound. And it eludes uh, Siplikov at the right circle. Puck was bouncing. Back comes Messier. Feeds in the zone. A shot by Olin. Deflected. Bounces in front. Fisay will cover up right before Pavel Bure could get there. Well, Nick, I don't want to take anything away from the Yannick Pro line, which is playing so far in this game. It's been the opposite. Pro line has already scored a goal. Also had themselves another excellent opportunity. Off the draw. Lume, a shot. Save is made. Puck bounces in front. Backhander by Mogilny is kicked out. Fasse never saw it. Vancouver's had some chances. Bahanas turns. His shot. Save is made. Rebound cleared by Nordstrom. Nordstrom up the right wing wall. Sends it across to his left, but a pass behind Stumpel. Puck bounces at the Kings line. Nordstrom with it. Up for Robitaille. At the red line, and Luke will shoot in. Robitaille gets hit right in front of us by Trevor Linden. Here's Trevor Linden to center ice. Linden with a drop pass broken up by Robitaille. Deflects into the Kings end anyway. Fasay in goal for the Kings. Clears it around the left wing boards. Broken up. Linden steals. Drives wide. He's in too deep. Now he centers. High slot. Shot by Lume. Kicked out. Penalty coming up on the play. Penalty on the Kings as Robitaille touches. Interference will be the call. And Vancouver has the Kings running around a bit here in the Kings end. Despite the fact. No one there. He can't try to make a perfect pass. He just got to get out in the neutral zone. Vancouver on the power play. A lot of talent out there. Bure, Mogilny, Linden, Messier, and Olin, the rookie defenseman. And the Canucks set it up. Messier at the right circle. Feeds it top of the slot to Bure. Gets it back. Messier right wing. Plays it down low. Mogilny in front of shot. Pad save made. Sharp angle shot. Now Messier pressured in the near wall. Lost the puck to Bilesma, who works it out to center ice. Nice aggressive play. Bilesma jumping in on Messier at the half board. Here's Oland over the line on left wing. He's bumped by Bilesma. Kings with a puck, and it's cleared by Berg. Vancouver on the power play. Their specialty teams have not been effective. 23rd in the NHL. 10% on a power play with all the talent they have. Canucks shoot in, but the Kings, O'Donnell finds an opening and quickly slaps it down. Nice play by Stefan Fasse, who goes out and stops that original puck in behind the net and feeds it back where it's coming from because all the Canucks are looking to go to the other side. Here's Messier to Linden in front, but it rolled off his stick. He could have pulled the trigger had he controlled. He was right in front. Now Oland plays it down low to Linden. Got it back, but he's pressured. Puck to center ice. 50 on the power play for Vancouver. Over the line on right wing, Bure. Stops up, fell down, got back up, winds, fakes the shot. Plays it in deep. Mogilny back in front to Burray, chipped it wide. Messier now to Mogilny at the right circle. Feeds it top of the slot, winding a shot, and a save is made off Ledger. Now right in front, a shot fired wide by Messier from in tight. Vancouver getting good chances. Here's Ledger for Mogilny, right wing side. Cross ice feed, broken up by Perot. Perot up the loose puck, hooked down, but he's able to clear it. As he was being taken down by Bure. And a real nice read by Yannick Pro sliding back from the top down in in front of the net as Pavel Bure came off that left point right to the side of the net. Five seconds of the man advantage. Mike Sillinger gains the red line, flips it in, glove to his stick by O'Donnell, finds an opening and clears. Nordstrom out of the box, and the Kings have killed it. 13-18 left in the first, and the Kings still in front, 1-0. Vancouver five shots the Kings with three now a penalty coming up as Stumpel on the four check was tripped up on the play and I think they caught uh, Mike Sillinger Sillinger not really a good play in fact Joseph Stumpel who was going to be in on the four check was about 30 feet from the guy with the puck and Sillinger just tried to slow him up for a second S Sillinger a little frustrated with the referee's call can understand 79.5 on the penalty kill for the Vancouver Canucks 
Face off to the right of McLean. Kings have a one nothing lead. Kings win the draw. Blake with it. Cross ice speed. Taken right circle. Galley a shot. Kicked out. Now Burry left wing wall works it ahead to center ice. Picked up by Messier. One man back. It's Blake. Messier stepped into by Stumple. Stumple forces a turnover. Stumple nice job to play the man. He's got the puck on left wing. Goes into the zone. Outside the left circle, stops up, feeds it back to Blake, winds a shot, deflected just wide. Tipped by Moger in front. Robitaille feeds left corner. Stumple has it, looks in front, holds on, top of the left circle. Stumple feeds it to his right. Blake with a drive, it deflected wide. Penalty coming up on the play, and I think they may get Sandy Moger, and Moger is upset. Well, Moger and Hedekin, the Canuck defenseman, very physical on each other in front, and end up Hedekin going down to the ice. That's what the referee ended up seeing as he was watching the puck out at the point. Saw the end result of it. Sandy Moger knew he had taken a couple cross checks in the back and realized that he had upended Hedekin, but he didn't see the referee wasn't looking on the original aggressive play in front of the net. Terry Gregson, veteran official, uh, calling Moger. So there goes the power for the five guys on the ice. That's how much they make combined between them. The Kings not as expensive. They aren't looking to maybe have as fancy power play, but they're looking to get some better production. one nothing Kings. So now we're four on four for a minute 20. To center ice, Lume into the zone, drifts to the left wing boards, holds on, still has it, moves into the slot, shoots while falling, deflected wide. Now here's Yannick Perot, leads the charge out to center ice. Perot to Galley on left wing. Galley back on the right wing boards to Blake. Over the line, a shot, save made. Rebound, McLean leaves it for his defense. Lume for Linden on right wing. Marked by Murray. Got it ahead, and here comes Vancouver to center. Lume over the line. Leaves it for Hedekin. Centers. They score. Brian Noonan. Brian Noonan redirecting the centering pass. Kings are going to complain that it went off a leg or was directed in with a skate. But the Vancouver Canucks have tied it up and won the goal by Noonan. Well, we saw Oatman attacks really come back to haunt the Kings against Montreal. The Vancouver Canucks are able to get the advantage, the Oatman attack on this 4-on-4 four four situation. And Noonan is the recipient of a pass. It really wasn't a great pass. It ended up going off his skate. I don't know if the referee, Terry Gregson, says that he did not try to redirect it. I will differ with him on that. I know what it's like to be out there. The puck's coming at you. You're trying to kick that puck up your stick. The only thing it might have done is ended up going from Noonan's skate into his stick. That's what the referee decided to let this go. Well, even if it did go off his skate, Mike, he did not make a oh. distinctive kicking motion. That, that's, a, that's a redirection there. Of a, a, he's trying to kick that puck up to his skate. Maybe he's not trying to put it, put it in the net, but he is definitely trying to redirect that puck up to him. And situation, I think that, that, that maybe that goal should have counted if it didn't end up going off his stick after. But it, whatever, the Kings didn't do a good job through the neutral zone of not coming back and making sure they had the numbers. So the Canucks tied up the goal with both clubs shy of skaters, still four on four. Ledyard cross ice feed to Bure on right wing, but offside as he hit the Kings line. Noonan, his fourth from Hedekin and Lume at 8-11. And we'll take a timeout with a game tied at one on the Kings radio network. You're finally on vacation. The one you've been waiting for all year. You know, Canucks tying it up. Noonan from Hedekin and Lume at 8-11. 25 seconds left on the Sillinger penalty. 105 on Mogers. And off the draw. Craig Johnson with a puck. His pass uh, to his right intended for Stumple. Broken up at the Vancouver line. Back come the Canucks. Matthias Olin to the Kings line. Drops it for the trailer. Messier a shot. Save made and Fasse will cover. How about the Canucks on this four on four opportunity. They like to go with three forwards and only one to fit one. Messier out on the draw for Vancouver. He's got a five game point scoring streak working after a very slow start. He's got 11 points total in 17 games. The draw won by the Kings. LaPerriere, Zamolak right up the middle to Bilesma. Bilesma through center into the zone driving wide. Now centers in front but broken up by Burray. Sillinger out of the box, and the Canucks have a quick power play. Bure dishes off on left wing to Mogilny. Into the zone, wrists it wide of the net. Chased down at the near circle by Messier to Linden. Back to Messier behind the net. He centers, but broken up by the Kings. Winds up left point to Lume. Down low to Messier to Mogilny. Back to the left point. Canucks Lume to Bure. 
Bure across to Lume. Turns, feeds it left circle for Messier to Lume. One-timer to flex on save. Rebound save. Another shot save off Trevor Linden. And the Kings clear. Great goaltending. Stefan Passe holding his positioning. Three different Canucks getting the opportunity. Now Linden over the line to Messier. One times at a sliding stop by Fisse. Fisse has been marvelous here in the first period as the Kings clear. They're back at full strength. Back comes Messier on right wing. Draws a crowd. Bumped. Left it for the trailer. Steos a shot. Kicked out. Linden in the corner for Messier. Feeds in the slot. Broken up by the Kings. Chasing his Hennigan. He's in deep. A defenseman. Leaves it for Milgilney. Brings it up front. Feeds it back to Hedekin in deep again. He's in too deep. Now Hedekin, great skater, flips it right wing boards for Linden. Linden now checked off the puck and it comes to center ice. Kings have not been physical enough in this game. You can see the Canuck fours, no fear as they enter into the offensive zone. Siplikov on a loose puck, feeds it to his left. Here's Stumpel in the zone, a shot. Gloved by McLean. And he'll hold on. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Game tied at one on the Los Angeles Kings radio network. They're just spinning off checks and making things happen. And there's no finish along the boards as they spin out away from the Kings players. P people are going up to them but skating away from them. So there's no fear as far as the Canucks about getting hit. So they hold the puck as long as they want. Moger, Robitaille out along with Stumpel. Game tied at one. Stumpel for checking. Throws a bump on Noonan, and the puck winds up behind the Vancouver net. Taken by Olin, clears it off to Brashear, who tipped it to center ice. Now Stumpel to Robitaille, that's broken up. Picked up by ex-King Grant Ledyard, and Ledyard will wrist it into the King's end. Nordstrom, out the right wing side, backhands it out to center. Stumpel for Robitaille. Robitaille over the line. Robitaille tied up on the play, and the puck back at center ice. Turning with it is Galley. Up to Robitaille. Fights off a check. Robitaille feeds it ahead out of the reach of Moger. Moger chasing along with Ledyard. Back to help out is Brashear. He's got the puck. Took a hit side of his net. Robitaille steals. Centers. Stumple with it. Stumple side of the net. He's on the backhand. Cuts into the slot. He's wrapped up and knocked down. Back comes Vancouver. Five on two if they hurry. Into the zone they go. But offside was Brashear on right wing. Oh, the Kings were fortunate there. The Canucks had all five players up on the rush. We'll take a timeout. Game tied at one. Guaranteed low prices on over 7,000 office supplies at Staples. Yeah, we've got that. 8.29 left first period here at the Forum, and the Kings and Canucks tied at one. Perot his 10th, Noonan his 4th. Kings moving right to left, win the draw. Blake, a pass ahead out of the reach of Craig Johnson, goes all the way down the ice. After it, McAllister with McKenna. McKenna gets there, leaves it for Craig Johnson. Johnson stutter steps, is tied up on the play, and Vancouver clears the center. Mo Gilney with it, feeds to his left. McAllister, young defenseman, just recalled in the zone, drops it for Linden, stops up, lost an edge. Kings on a loose puck, Roman Volpot up the right wing side. Backhands it slowly into the Vancouver end. McLean, the goaltender, out, and he'll clear it to center. Craig Johnson flips back in. Volpot in quickly on McAllister. Throws a check, but McAllister avoided most of that. Now Mogilney, bumped by Galley, fights off the check, goes into the zone. His pass broken up. Galley with it. Ahead for Matt Johnson. Across to LaPerriere, wristed in wide of McLean. Now McLean out with Matt Johnson and Bilesma. Game tied at one. Hedekin, a pass ahead, didn't connect. Kings control with Galley. Across for Nordstrom. On the left wing boards, plays it ahead. Chased down, picked up by LaPerriere in the zone. He centers. Bilesma couldn't get the stick down. Now Galley with it. Driving the net, but he's back checked by Messi. Now tripped up in front is Galley. And a penalty coming up on Vancouver as Steos throws a right that misses on Matt Johnson. Well, I'm not sure it missed. I think it caught part of his, his jaw, Matty Johnson. You know Steos, he's a guy that'll play aggressive, but I'm not sure he would have done that and unless the referee was standing in between them. Originally, Steos had the penalty trippy, tripping Galley as Galley was trying to get back onto a defensive position. I think then Matty Johnson got himself a cross check. I'm not sure, though, Steos didn't get himself an extra. The Kings really should be on the power play. The Canucks have really put the pressure down, and Stefan Passe has come up with a number of big saves. They need the Kings, their power play, to come up big and settle the tempo of this game down to their liking. Vancouver has outshot the Kings 12-5, and you're right, Mike. Fassay has been uh, just outstanding. 
here in the first. Off the draw, the Kings get it back to Galley. Galley plays it along the right wing boards, gets it back. Galley uh, shoots it ahead for Siplikov. He's tied up, pressured, and Messier will clear. Now Blake for Galley, turning inside his line, drops it back to Blake. Blake looking for an option, plays it ahead to Perot. Perot will flip in. Chasing now is Murray. He bumps with Hennigan. Puck to Perot. Perot turns, shoots, and he missed the short side. Puck picked up on the near wall by Murray. Back to Blake. Blake shoots it in deep. Siplikov in the corner. Moves behind the net. Siplikov feeding right circle. Perot up high to Galley. Galley back to Perot. Perot plays it down low. Turning, shooting. Siplikov save. Rebound. Murray dove for it. Couldn't get there. Galley keeps it in. Feeds it up high. Perot with a shot. His wide. Puck behind the net for Siplikov. Siplikov holding on. Feeds it back to Galley. Across right point to Blake. Blake wristed in front. Deflected block. Tipped by Perot. Perot feeds behind the net. Siplikov centers. Shot save. Rebound. Cleared away. Murray had that first chance. Blake with a drive. His wide left. Now Galley at the left point. Galley plays it down low for Siplikov. Back to Galley. Across to Blake. Blake plays it down low for Perot. He centers over the stick of Siplikov. Taken left point by Galley. Plays it down for Murray. Got left 30. circle. Murray holding on. Murray to Perot. Perot moves behind the net. Perot now walks out. Center is broken up and cleared by Bure. Real good puck moving by the Kings in their power play. Siplikov, excellent job setting up a number of the Kings. The Canucks top two penalty killers, Messe and Bury. They are gambling. That's allowing the Kings to move into open areas for opportunities. Kings on another target power play. Target expect more. Pay less. Ten seconds on the man advantage. For Robotai couldn't take a pass inside his line. He was checked, but now he gets it back. 1-1, first period winding down. Here's Robotai. A feed on right wing for Stumple. Into the zone. He's checked. Robotai follows up, has the puck. Robotai back to the point. O'Donnell, a wrist shot, just wide with traffic in front. The traffic from Moger. Back comes Vancouver. Scatchert. Rookie right winger into the zone. Play broken up by Aki Berg. Puck back at center ice. Olin to give and go. Moves in the zone. He's bumped off the puck. Moger with it. Moger now to Robitaille. Back on right wing to Stumple. Over the line. Fakes the shot. Moves in. Puck bounced off his stick. Loose puck in front. Vancouver almost turned it over to Robitaille. Canucks at full strength. Sillinger to center ice will flip in. Fassay leaves the puck for his defense. Blake clears it around the left wing wall. Kings didn't handle it. Lume keeps in for Vancouver to Sillinger. Plays it behind the net to Walker. His centering pass. Nobody in front for Vancouver. Controlled by the Kings and lifted down by Craig Johnson. 4.15 left here in the first. The game tied at one. Sillinger now had to Walker at the Kings line, but offside goes Vancouver. Kings and the Canucks tied at one. We'll take a timeout on the Kings radio network. On Thursday in San Jose tomorrow night, we'll host these Vancouver Canucks at the Shark Tank. Tickets for Thursday's game on sale here at the Forum Box Office and at Ticketmaster. 1-1. Bilesma, LaPerriere, Matt Johnson out for the Kings. Off the draw, the Canucks shoot in. Fassay clears around to Bilesma on right wing. Kings to center ice. They're moving right to left. Bilesma to the red line, plays it into Matt Johnson, dropped it for the trailer, picked up by Bilesma for Nordstrom, moves in a shot, kicked out, yeah. McLean kicked at it, I think it went off his leg into the net, but Matt Johnson was there as well, we'll have to wait for the call, but the Kings on the rush, getting the original shot from Nordstrom, and they've regained the lead. 2-1, Kings. Well, you know, it was almost as if the Vancouver Canucks with big Donald Brashear on the ice were almost waiting to see what was going to happen as far as in the physical department. Brashear's left shift out there. He was very aggressive. This time, Kings coach Larry Robinson gets Matty Johnson on the ice. Kings just go ahead and play, whereas the Vancouver Canucks stand around and watch. The Kings enter their zone. It's Matty Johnson who has the puck carrying over. By, ends up on Biles' mistake, the right wing. He carries it across through the middle, gives it to Nordstrom, the left point. Nordstrom just risks that puck at the net. I'm not sure who, if it goes off anyone, I think it just goes by McLean. McLean should have had that puck if it wasn't redirected. But whatever, the Kings have to feel very happy. They've got themselves the lead. Two to one, Nordstrom gets the goal. So McLean kicking at it, got a piece of it, but it trickled in. Matt Johnson was in front. 
Matt will pick up an assist, however, along with Dan Bilesmo. So the Kings back in front. Playback underway. Olin through center on right wing in the zone. Winds a shot is blocked. Cleared to the sideboards by the Kings. Moger clears it around at the back of the net. Winds up in front. And Fassay has to be alert to pounce on it. Oh, that took a weird hop off the end dasher boards as Moger tried to fire it around from the near corner to the far corner. And Stefan Fassay really had to be sharp mentally to really realize that puck wasn't going in and around his net, but hit one of those metal supports in between the two panes of glass, came out in front, because the Canuck player, even though he was behind the net, had his stick on the puck, whacked at it. Stefan stayed. Johnson, Matt, and Bilesma assisting at 16-10. 2-1 Kings, 3-14 left in the first. Off the draw, Burray a shot, block. Lume with a drive, save! Fassay holds it against his chest. Boy, Vancouver, Mike. It's not like they haven't had a bundle of good scoring chances. They sure have here in the first. Well, really, they've got an awful lot of talented offensive players throughout their line. Little shot is blocked by Sipikov. Ends up on Lume's stick at the point. Lume just risked it. And with traffic in front, Stefan to say, great job focusing on that puck. Off the draw, Perot gets it in the corner for Berg. One hands it behind the net. O'Donnell plays it across on right wing, and here come the Kings to center. Perot to Siplikov in the zone, cuts into the slot. On the backhand, couldn't get a shot away, wound up in traffic. Puck uh, taken by Vancouver. Lume up to Messier. Messier checked by Berg, but got the puck to center ice, gave it right to Perot, and Perot will flip it back in. On the four check, Murray on Lume. Forces Lume to sweep it behind his net, controlled by Ledyard. Up on right wing for Bure. Bure for Messier. Messier cutting to his left at center. Dropped it back for a defenseman. Ledger didn't expect it. Now he recovers and flips it in, but put it out of play at the Kings line. 2.28 left. Here in the first, Kings up 2-1. to one. You cannot be very happy with that last goal. That's going to happen, but when you are struggling, you really hate to see it. Off the draw, Galley plays it all the way into the Vancouver end. Now Mogilny battles with Nordstrom. Nordstrom open the puck, flipped it wide of the net, bounces right circle. Robitaille a shot save. Rebound loose in front. Bounces a shot by Stumpel and a save by McLean. Stumpel had what looked to be a gimme, but the puck bounced on him and he didn't get much on the shot. Robitaille had a great chance as well. And a good job by McLean of coming up with that original save by Robitaille. Robitaille off to the left of McLean spun around, got the loose puck, and immediately fired it at McLean. McLean, good job of getting out top of his crease, make the save from them. That puck was bouncing all over. McLean ended up on his side. Joseph Stumpel would have had himself an easy goal with his type of skill. If that puck had a been laying flat, he would have got it up high, top of the net. Well, now we have uh, a bank of lights go out in the end where Vancouver goaltender Kirk McLean is defending. I think both sides, Nick, they've gone out. They've yeah, all the you're way right. around. Yeah, the lights at the end of uh, both sides of the arena have gone down. And I think that's what they're going to do. Because usually these lights uh, take a while to get up to full brilliance. Ten minutes, I believe. Ten minutes. Dave Courtney said. So, uh, unofficially, the first period comes to an official end. <laughs> Still 2.10 left uh, officially. Let's clarify that. So the clubs go off as uh, we lose a couple of banks of lights here at both ends of the arena, and the Kings have a 2-1 lead to this point. Well, you can definitely like, if you're the Kings, the fact that you're coming out of the lead, the 2-1 lead, but you can't be particularly happy, I don't think, with... The Western Los Angeles Airport produces a rare combination of functionality and elegance. Make your plans today to experience firsthand the service and amenities that make the Western Los Angeles Airport the choice of Kings. Play underway play as we continue the first period again. Uh, before we took that intermission, a bank of lights went out at each uh, end of the arena. Face off in the Vancouver end. Kings putting early pressure on. Berg flips the puck around the boards, winds up on the far side. Naslin chops at it and plays it out to center ice. 140 officially left in the first period. Back comes Perot over the line on left wing with a shot. Missed the right corner. O'Donnell keeps in. His pass deflected. Moves into the slot. Siplikov to Perot and on goal. He shoots. Block. Picked up. Uh, well, where is it? I guess it's caught up in McLean's pads. Oh, deflected into the crowd. Yannick Perot with a great chance from the right circle, but it was deflected out of play. Really a good shift for Yannick Perot to start the end of this first period. You, you think three Kings fours in deep and very fortunate, one of those 
Canuck defenseman slid across that opportunity that Yannick Crow had deflected that puck up into the stands. 126 in the period off the draw. Blake with a shot. Kicked out. Rebound. Cleared to the right wing wall and passed Blake, but not out. Kept in. Stumbled to Blake. Shoots it in deep at McAllister of Vancouver. Ahead for Bahanas. His pass on right wing goes behind Mogilny. Chases it down with Zamola. Zamola got there and cleared it back into the Vancouver end. McAllister pressured by Stumple. Now Lume back to help out. Lume clears around. Kept in by Blake with a shot block. Blake again turns a shot kicked out. A minute to play in the period. Now Rubitai shot gloved by McLean with Moger in front. Luke still looking for goal number 400 as a king. Two big saves by Kirk McLean in the net for the Vancouver Canucks. The first one off Rob Blake from the hash mark in the slot air. Rob Blake came up with that loose puck, turned and spun. A nice right pad toe save by Kirk McLean. Good job by the Kings to hunt it down to the corner, feed Robitaille from the other side in the slot. And 2 10 here of the first. They've had about uh, three or four pretty good chances on McLean. Off the draw on the Vancouver end. Sillinger wins it from LaPerriere. Olin Chase checked by Matt Johnson. Puck uh, picked up now by Sillinger. But away from the action, we've got a scrap. It's Brashear and Matt Johnson. This is a heavyweight bout. Matt Johnson and Donald Brashear. Johnson getting in his right hand free. He's knocked Brashear's helmet off. Two tough customers here. More of a tussling match now. They are on the far wall. Now Brashear getting in some lefts. Now getting in some rights, and they both fall to the ice. Now rolling around on the ice. Matt gets in a couple of rights, and they'll separate them. Well, that was a good scrap between those two heavyweights. Matt Johnson off that loss. Face off by the Kings. Finished. Olin, the fine Swedish prospect the Canucks have on D. It ended up in the corner to the left of Kirk McLean. And who was waiting there but left winger Donald Bashir challenging Matty Johnson. Those two players were in this game. Very physical. Looked like he was taking advantage of some of the Kings. Johnson or Coach Robinson elected to get Johnson out there. Those two neutralize each other. Off the draw, Blake down low, feeds up high. Galley a shot blocked. Galley again shoots it into the corner. Picked up by Olin. Chase checked by Craig Johnson. Olin clears around for Ledyard, takes a look, clears it up to center ice while being checked by LaPerriere. We've got 20 seconds left in the first period. Naslin for Vancouver, lifts it out to center ice, picked up by Blake to Bilesma. Bilesma moves in, he centers the puck. Broken up by LaPerriere. Ten seconds left in the period. On right wing, Noonan in the zone. Noonan centers in front. Tipped wide by Nasland. Close to being offside. Now Noonan in the left wing corner. Centers the puck as the buzzer sounds. Ending the first period. And the clubs will not go to their dressing rooms as they just resurface the ice. They'll just switch ends. And Mike, for the first time this year, the Kings have a lead after 20 minutes. Two to one, Kings in front. Absolutely. Decisive advantage in shots in the first part of that first period. And the Kings have a 2 1 lead. Goals by Perot and Nordstrom. Noonan has scored for Vancouver. So Fassay to our left now here in the second period. Kings moving left to right on the attack. Play underway. Yaki Berg up the left wing wall ahead for Murray out of his reach. Taken by Hedekin. Dishes off now to Naslin. Naslin uh, pressured by Murray. Cleared it around off on the right wing boards where Messier controls for Hedekin. Hedekin room to skate. Ahead now for Bure. Play broken up at the Kings line. Bure and the Canucks regroup. Bure drops for Steos. Ahead to Naslin. Now to Bure. Bure over the line. Feeds it in deep for Hedekin. Drives wide. He's in too deep. Now he centers. Broken up by the Kings. Back comes Siplikov to Murray. Murray to center ice. Murray around one man, but he lost the puck as he hit the Vancouver line. 2-1 Kings, early second period. Marcus Nasland on left wing all year long with Messier and Burry to Lume. Lume in the zone, ridden off the puck by Blake. Kings control and break out two on two. Robitaille and Murray on the right wing. Robitaille in the zone, feeds it ahead. Stumple across for Murray, but he couldn't take the pass. Oh, a great setup by Stumple. Now the Canucks play it ahead to Messier. Out to Bahanas on left wing, into the zone. A shot goes wide left. Picked up by Bahanas. Hip checked into the boards by Zamolik. Zamolik with a puck. Nice move. Clears around to the right side. Moger roughed up, but he cleared the puck down. Alexander Mogilny back of the Vancouver lineup after a holdout. This is his second game. Clears it out to center off Bahanas. Blake paired with Zamolik. Feeds Zamolik now to Robitaille. He turns at center. Robitaille on the shoot-in. It's Stumple. Moger and Robitaille up front for the Kings. 
McAllister for the Canucks. Clears around. Bad hop off the boards. Picked up by Mogilny. Mogilny on right wing. Into the zone at the right circle. He centers in front. Deflected. And a save by Fassay. Loose puck. Fassay didn't see it. He gets the whistle with help from his teammates. Well, the first time since the Kings have come out back from that early intermission, they have allowed an open man attack. It was Luke Robitaille, who thought he had the puck that was coming around the right wing boards, stopped in the offensive zone. It took a bad bounce off one of the supports in between the two glass panes of glass. Ended up a three on two for the Vancouver Canucks. The Vancouver Canucks, with McGillney carrying that puck down the right wing, had two players charge the net. A good job by Linden, who was in the middle to do that. That's what you want from your three on two rush. You want the person in, in the middle to pass to. Didn't have anyone, just put it in front and. Stephon Fassay came up with it. Still 2-1 Kings and off the draw. The Canucks get it back to Ledyard. A shot from the left point is handled by Fassay who juggles but had a pretty good look at it. Kings hockey brought to you by Toyota. A proud sponsor of the Los Angeles Kings. Toyota reminds you that every day is another opportunity to live life the way you want to. Toyota every day. 17-48 left in the second. 2-1 Kings lead. Face off to the right of Fisse and off the draw. Comes through the slot into the far side. Nordstrom with it. Plays it ahead. It's tipped behind Craig Johnson at center ice. Bouncing puck. Chopped in by Larry Courville for Vancouver. Just recalled. But the Kings clear it quickly. Picked up by Nordstrom. Plays it for Roman Vopot. Vopot along the wall. Battling. Puck comes free. Courville now bumped by big Steve McKenna. Puck to Olin. His pass ahead for Noonan to Corville. Back to Noonan. Broken up by the Kings. On right wing, Craig Johnson couldn't duck underneath an Olin check. And Ledyard clears it around the right wing boards for Noonan. Noonan bumped by Vopot. Fights off the check. Plays it up for Corville. Corville drops it for the trailer. Sillinger. Another drop pass. They get it to Ledyard. A shot. And it's over the net. And off the glass into the crowd. 16.59 left. Second period. We'll take a timeout on the Los Angeles Kings radio network. In the second, Vancouver has lost nine straight to tie a franchise record. They have been outscored 40 to 17 in this stretch. And only twice in the last nine games have they scored more than two goals in a game. McLean, who was in goal tonight, has been in goal for seven of those nine losses. Playback underway. Sean O'Donnell, a pass on the right wing boards, broken up by Nasland. Nasland feeds Burray. They move in the zone. Cross ice feed, tipped away by Berg, intended for Messier. Puck bounces at the circle, taken by Nasland. A shot save is made. Rebound, cleared away by the Kings. And here's Glenn Murray the other way. Murray tripped up at center ice. Got it ahead to Berg, jumping up. Berg pushes it deep into the Vancouver zone. Nasland, a pass in front of his own net. Controls, sends it on right wing to Messier, gets it back. He's taken down at center. No call there either. Berg controlling. Hockey with room, cleared it on right wing to Perot. Perot looking to his left, opts to flip in as the Kings want to make a change. Four minutes into the second period. 2 1, the Kings lead. Up the left wing board, Steos. He's checked. Good back check by Sandy Moger. Puck uh, pinballing at the Kings line, taken by Zamolik for Blake. Blake lifts it out to Moger on right wing. Now ahead on side to Stumple. Robot tie to the net. Stumple cuts into the slot. Stumple taken down by McAllister. No call there. The fans upset. In the corner now. Moger knocks down one of the uh, Canucks. The puck controlled by McAllister. Clears up now now. Kept in by Robitaille. Robitaille with a shot. Score! There it is for Luke Robitaille. His fourth. From the top of the slot, about 50 feet out, beat McLean, glove hand side, upper right corner. 400 goals as a king for Luke, and the Kings have a 3 1 lead. Beautiful job by Luke Robitaille to have patience, and then what a shot from the high slot area. But really, this goal was made by Sandy Moger. Sandy Moger had lost his stick, and I'm not sure which Canuck defenseman had the puck as Moger was going into attack him in the offensive zone. All Moger was going to do was going to look for his stick. The defenseman panicked, passed the puck away through the slot area. Robitaille intercepted it. 
A good job of Blake to screen one of the Canuck forwards away from him, allowing Robitaille to get the opportunity to skate to the slot area. And then did he ever lay it up top underneath the cross by for his 400th goal? Back come the Canucks. Sillinger over the line with a drop pass. Broken up. Kings Matt Johnson plays it ahead. A breakaway. Bilesma in on goal. Shot. Save is made. Oh, a great setup to Bilesma behind the defense. Bilesma with the puck to Matt Johnson. Centers. High slot. Nobody there. Puck goes all the way down the ice. What a pass by Matty Johnson. Getting his head up. Seeing Bilesma break by the Canuck defense. And the Canucks hunt down a loose puck. Kings have a two-goal lead. Second period action. It's now 3-1 for Robitaille is eight. Puck to Noonan. Top of the left circle. He centers in front. Goes off a skate. Olins as he drove in off uh, the right wing boards. Bouncing puck finally gathered in by Matt Johnson. And he's content to ice the puck to get a whistle as Olin touches up. Noonan and LaPerriere having some words. And the referee, Terry Gregson, steps between the two. Only the third King player to score 400 goals as a member of the Kings. Marcel Dion, the leader, of course, 550. Dave Taylor with 431. And now Luke with his 400th King goal tonight. Off the draw, the puck bounces at the Kings line. Corville is uh, pressured by Volpot. Puck to center ice. 3-1 Kings. Craig Johnson will wrist one in. McLean will stop it for his defense. Olin clears it around. Knocked down by Volpot and centered in one motion but broken up. Back quickly comes Ledger. Ledger to Corville on left wing. Back to Ledger with a shot block. Deflects in the far wall. Picked up by McKenna. Chips it off the glass. And down the ice, this is going to be an icing call. Walker is going to go with Roman Volpot. They had a fight. Remember, in the first period. Now Volpot, who's much taller than Scott Walker, trying to get in a right. He does. Walker, no worse for wear. Now Volpot with another right. Walker trying to get his right hand free. Now Walker trying to uh, get an overhand right. Volpot with a right again. Now chopping Walker down to the ice. Volpot actually fell first. And then Walker with a final right on the top of Volpot's head. And they're separate as Volpot winds up with Walker's jersey and just throws it in the air. And the fans react. Where's the tie down, Scott Walker? Well, this Scott Walker is a tough kid. He's not very big, but he is game. He'll take on anyone. He's taken on a pretty big kid for this hockey team you look at Roman Volpot and the Kings Roman a big strong kid the kid that has to lean on people to not only wear them down but also help intimidate help give the Kings that added size advantage and he's doing it tonight and that's why he's been more effective than he has in the past 3-1 Kings in front Perot is back out with Siplikov and Murray they've been matched up with the Messier line here tonight Messier with Nasland and Bure. Vancouver to center ice, but the play broken up. Murray diving for a loose puck, can't get it. Taken by Ledyard uh, into the zone around one man, in on goal. A shot, save is made by Fassay. Perot up with the puck, Perot up the middle, clears it ahead to center ice, but Oland uh, controlling, gave it to Ledyard. His pass is broken up. Ledyard got it back, feeds on right wing for Messier. Into the zone, Messier in the slot, drops it for the trailer. Oland moving in, a backhander, kicked out by Fassay. Boy, Fassay has been outstanding. Here tonight, 3-1 Kings. Now Perot, up ice pressure on Hedekin, but Hedekin cleared it uh, through center to the Kings line. Canucks defense very active. The Kings forwards coming back into their own zone have to be aware of that. Blake on a shoot in. McLean will play it for Olin. Took a hit, got the puck up, not out. Kept in by Nordstrom, played it across into the right wing corner. Now Hedekin to Naslin, turned it over. King Steele, Stumpel moves in. He shoots. Save is made. Rebound, Stumpel feeds in front. Robitaille for Stumpel. Centers it in front. Deflected behind the net. He was trying to hit Sandy Moger. Now the Kings pressing. Stumpel on the right wing boards. Feeds high slot, but it's tipped away from Moger and out to center. Well, you watch the Canucks in their own zone. They don't do a good job of sticking and pinning with the guy they originally checked. They skate away from him. That allows that original player who shot the puck to come up with another opportunity because no one's on him. Now the Canucks, after the Kings shoot in, almost turn it over inside their blue line. Lume there, off for Bahanas, uh, back to Lume. Play broken up by Galley and batted out of the Kings end by Nordstrom. 3-1 Kings, 12 minutes left in the second. Lume, the veteran defenseman to Bahanas, plays it into the Kings end. Back for it is Nordstrom. Nordstrom now to Galley. 
Galley ahead on right wing to Stumple. Stumple, a little give and go to center ice, leaves it for the trailer Galley. Galley to the Vancouver line, will backhand it in deep. Matt Johnson is chasing in deep, along with Mogilney. Mogilney got there, has the puck, spins away from Bilesma. Now Matt Johnson clears it on right wing, and here comes Vancouver to center ice. Trevor Linden to Bahanas on left wing. Back for Linden in the zone. Play broken up by the Kings. Play back to center ice. Lume off for McAllister. He's six foot seven on defense for Vancouver. To Bahanas on left wing. Stood up at the Kings line. Kings steal the puck. Back they come moving left to right. La Perriere off for Bilesma. A wrist shot down low. Missed the net. Puck bounces right in front. Picked up by Bahanas. Bahanas a give and go with Linden into the zone on left wing drops it for Linden moves in the slot holds on got by one king hits the trailer oh Linda shot hit the post rebound picked up in front by the Kings and cleared away by Aki Berg but not out kept in at the point by Ledyard passes back behind the Kings net where O'Donnell leaves it for Berg ahead on right wing to Robitaille overskated the puck comes back for it but he's checked on the play by Brashear. Now O'Donnell turns it over. Sillinger a shot. Save is made by Fassay. King's scrambling around. Finally clear it down. Real quick pace the last three or four minutes. I, I can't remember the last time we had a whistle. King's turning the puck over a number of times. Canucks having some opportunities. Now a flip in by Brashear. Bounces in on Fassay who will cover it after he had some problems. Try King's third goal again unassisted earlier here in the second at 437. Luke Robitaille his eighth this year and his 400th in a Kings uniform. Uh, Luke of course started out here with the Kings eight seasons moved on to Pittsburgh and then two years with the Rangers reacquired right before the start of training camp from the Rangers for Kevin Stevens off the draw at the right point Steos feeds it to back behind the Kings net. Messier couldn't handle it. Now Burry in the corner. Checked by Blake. Puck uh, up on the right wing boards. Uh, winds up back in the corner. Burry there. Burry tied up by two Kings. Pokes it to Hedekin. Hedekin plays it back down low. Chases himself. Red Hedekin holding on. Drops it for Bahanas with a shot. Save is made. Rebound picked up by the Kings. And uh, cleared not out by Blake. Blake tried to carry it out. Now a centering pass by Burry. Broken up. King scrambling. Bahana center shot. Burray deflected wide. Oh, the Kings have been real fortunate here in this period. At center ice, Siplikov overskated the puck. But the Canucks can't do anything with it. Blake uses the boards to play it ahead. Out of the reach of Siplikov, winds up inside the Vancouver line. Hedekin, a long lead pass out of the reach of Burray. This will be icing, but Blake gets back just in time on the touch up icing Vancouver little sloppy play by the Kings in their own zone lending itself to a number of opportunities for the Vancouver Canucks. Stumple on the draw with Trevor Linden who is now an assistant. He gave up his C when Mark Messier arrived and Trevor will talk about that between periods coming up. Off the draw Craig Johnson centers the puck shot wide uh, in an awkward position by Stumple. Canucks have it. Don't clear. Kept in Stumple. Turn shoots in front. Deflected on the near wall. Chasing is Steve McKenna. McKenna bumped by McAllister. A lot of beef uh, between those two. Puck to the left circle. Craig Johnson feeds it to Stumple. Back to Craig Johnson. Looks in front. He centers. Stumple with a shot, but away from the play right in front of the net. We've got a scrap. McKenna, and is it McAllister? McAllister 6-7. McAllister 6-8. McKenna. How about that? I wonder how the air is up there. <laughs> They're just kind of waltzing around. They, they now wound up in the goal crease. Tended by McLean here in the second period. And finally, they just kind of wrestle each other down. Not much of a scrap. Chris McAllister, young defenseman, former second round pick, 6'7, 225. And of course, the King Steve McKenna checking in at six foot eight. <laughs> we'll take a timeout. 3 1. Chris McAllister and Steve McKenna of the Kings, the scrap there. And Mike, hockey history. Tallest fight in the National <laughs> Hockey League. I don't know if that's in the record book. 6'7", <laughs> McAllister, McKenna 6'8". Not really much of a heavyweight bout. More of a grab on or and wrestle each other down type of uh, scrum. And they get five each for fighting regardless. And both those players have to play physical if they're going to stay with their respective teams. Steve McKenna knows that. He's really improved as a hockey player, but he really... Brings another element, another safety valve to the Kings. 
along with Maddie Johnson. McAllister, who was just called up today, made the trip, wasn't here for the morning skate. He has to play a physical presence. He's got to be the guy that gets it done in the defense. Off the draw, stumble to Nordstrom, moves down low behind the net. He's checked into the boards by Mogilny, puck to Robitaille for Stumple. Stumple stutter steps, leaves it for Robitaille. Robitaille bumped off the puck, stealing his Hedekin. Hedekin cutting to the right. Headmans to center ice for Linden. Linden into the zone. Linden into the slot, lost the puck. Was a three on two, but Linden waited too long to make a play, and he was checked by Gary Galley. Buck back at center ice. Galley off for Bahanas on left wing. Now to Mogilny. Mogilny tied up by Nordstrom. Mogilny lost his stick. Nordstrom with it. Flips it off the glass and it winds up into the seats. 8-12 left here in the second. 3-1 the Kings in front. Perot, Nordstrom, and Robitaille with goals. Noonan the only goal for Vancouver. And once again we will remind you that the homestand will continue. Thursday night, 7.30. Just saw on the ice Ian LaPerriere and Brian Noonan join at each other. Last time they were on the ice, those two almost went out. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. Off the draw, the puck behind the Kings net. O'Donnell clears it around to Matt Johnson, who gets there and chips it off the wall down the ice. LaPerriere first in, pressuring Grant Ledyard. Ledyard signed as a free agent, no option, just plays it through center back into the Kings end. Bergen O'Donnell defensively. Berg behind his own net. Now he's pressured. Leaves the puck for LaPerriere, who fires it around the right wing for Bilesma. Bilesma drops it for O'Donnell, who lifts it up, not out. Ledger jumped in the air to keep it in. Leaves it for Noonan. To Sillinger. Cross ice feed is tipped out to center ice by Matt Johnson. Shot right back in by Olin. Delayed offside. O'Donnell clears it on left wing. Matt Johnson to LaPerriere. Into the zone. LaPerriere holds on a shot. Blocked. Picked up by Matt Johnson. Johnson to LaPerriere. To Matt Johnson. To Zamolik left point. A high shot over everything off the glass. Behind the net. Picked up by Ledger. Clears it out to center ice for Brashear. Cutting to his left. Brashear now to the Kings line. Stood up. Checked off the puck. Got a stick up high on Zamolik. Now he chops down Zamolik. And we're going to get a penalty. Zamolik takes a look at the referee. Wants to make sure he caught Brashear on that first call before retaliating. He didn't retaliate, but I think Zamolik might get a penalty anyway. Well, Zamolik would be very surprised if he does. The fact that Brashear was the original one going to get this penalty. He's heading over into the box. So interesting to see if Doug Zamolik, he's talking to some of his teammates saying, what's going on? Am I going off? And he doesn't think so. He's heading to the Kings bench. So a good job by Zamolik if he doesn't to keep his cool in this situation. You know, Nick, one of the players really having himself a good game for the Kings has been their tough guy, Matty Johnson. Right, uh, with McKenna and McAllister, high sticking on Brashear at 12.56. Third to Kings target power play tonight. Target expect more, pay less. Kings power play has not been real productive lately. Galley on the shoot-in, chasing it down. Perot along with Steos. Steos gets there, clears it up, not out. Kept in by the Kings. Buck winds up on the slot, but it's picked up by Vancouver. Steos backhands it, but he hit Murray with it. Now the puck taken by Burray, and Burray does find an opening and clears. Well, one thing when you look at the Canucks killing penalty with Messe and Burray up front, you know they are looking to go on the offensive attack. So if you're the Kings, you can move the or work the puck down deep in the offensive zone. You're going to have a little more time than you will up top. Kings turn it over, play it ahead on side behind everybody. Burry and Messier, Burry to Messier, they score. Unbelievable. They had two men out at center ice all alone. A two on O break. Burry to Messier and the Canucks score a shorthanded goal. 3 2 Kings. Well, it's a, a play where the Canucks have obviously talked about because you could see as soon as that puck came back to the Canuck defenseman, both Burry and Messe took off into the offensive zone. And that Canuck defenseman, I'm not sure who it was, he just fired that puck out into that area. It almost looked as if it was a pass. And the only way that pass could have connected is if the puck was in the air. Burry knocked it down. They went in on the 2 on 0. Burry coming in dangerous alone, let alone with Mark Messe on his right side. Burry slipped it over to Messe. Messe makes no mistake. Quick shot at the net. Beats step on to say. The goal at 13.48. The Kings got in trouble when Blake tried to feed Galley and it didn't work. Back come the Kings. They still have the power play. Moger into the zone. Feeds Stumple. Dishes it out. Right point to O'Donnell. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. And back comes Lume. Lume feeds Noonan. Chops it into the Kings end. Berg tied up on the play. But back down low helping out is Stumple. 
Ahead for Moger. That's broken up by Noonan. Now reaching for it is Linden. And Linden pokes it back behind the Kings net. 30 seconds of the man advantage. 3-2 Kings. Berg at the red line will flip in. Stumple giving chase. Out is McLean. McLean gave it to Robitaille. Now to Stumple. Stumple pass back to Robitaille. Robitaille loses the puck and Walker breaks. Now Walker to center ice to the Kings line. Play broken up the trailer. Sillinger a shot but he fanned on it. Wound up on net. Ten seconds of the man advantage. Now Moger turns the puck over almost at his line. Got it to O'Donnell for Stumple. Off for Robitaille. Robitaille in the zone. Kings making changes. Robitaille pass in the high slot. Kicking at it. Galley got it back to Robitaille. Now to Stumple to Robitaille. Vancouver at full strength. To Stumple. Center shot. Save is made off Moger by McLean. We'll take a timeout. Vancouver back at full strength. They have a shorthanded goal. It's 3-2 Kings on the Kings Radio Network. Shorthanded at 13.48. Messier, his seventh from Bure and Hedekin. First shorthanded goal the Kings have allowed this year. 3-2 Kings, 4.54 left in the second. Perot is out with Murray and Siplikov. Off the draw, Hedekin clears it around. Nordstrom pinches, knocks down the puck for Perot. Couldn't get a shot on a bouncing puck and racing out to center. Here comes Naslin. Naslin into the zone, checked off the puck. The Kings pick it up and send out Glenn Murray. Murray to center ice, a pass for Perot, picked off by Burray. With speed, Burray into the zone. Burray driving wide and on goal, a shot. Kicked out, just getting a leg on it was Fisay. Kings cleared up on the near wall. And Siplikov finally got it to center ice. Perot tips it to the Vancouver line while being taken down. Take down by Steve Steos. 4-10 left here in the second. Messier is back out. He's now got a modest six-game point streak. Outlet pass to Burre. Plays it out of his skates. Cuts to his right. Now headmans for Messier to Naslund into the zone. Moves right circle. A backhander. Kick save, and the Kings will clear it around the right wing boards and out to center. You really have to be aware when you play against that Mark Messier line. They are really looking to go in the transition attack. You can't turn that puck over the neutral zone. Now the Canucks play it ahead to Bure, who slipped behind Zamola at the Kings line, but offside. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Los Angeles Kings radio network. Kings defenseman coming over from Dallas Stars. You're talking to the people that travel with the Canucks. Grant Ledger, along with Matt Olin, have been the two best defensemen here for this Canucks team early in this year, and that's a real credit to big Grant Ledger. You think 36 years of age. Kings on the attack now. Ledger is out there. Moger feeds at left point. Berg winds. He fires. He missed the net. Picked up by Bahanas. Ahead now for Linden. Linden cutting to his right. Linden over the line. Drops for Mogilney. Back to Linden and on goal. Had a man in front. Couldn't center. O'Donnell with a hit on Linden. Linden fights off the check. Linden being chased out to the blue line. Drops it back uh, for Ledger. Left point a shot. Tipped just wide by Bahanas. On the right wing boards. Moger with it. Moger to center ice. Moger to the red line. Will flip it in. Bounces on. And McLean will glove it. As an onrushing Robitaille forces him to hold three. And then he can, but if they can't, if, if the Canucks are coming out with the good control of the puck, he's got to peel back and help out those Kings defense. LaPerriere wins the draw. Galley across to Nordstrom. A wrist shot goes wide. LaPerriere knocks it back behind the net. It's centered. And Matt Johnson chipped it over the net. Picked up by LaPerriere. For Bilesman in the right corner. Back behind the net for LaPerriere. He's pinned by Lume. Lume, one arm on LaPerriere, one arm on the puck. Clears it to McAllister. Now back to Lume. Lume, cross ice speed. Picked off by LaPerriere and shot in by LaPerriere as he's high stick. And a penalty coming up on Vancouver. It was an accidental high stick. I think the follow through of the Canuck player clipped LaPerriere, and the Kings will go to work on the power play. You look at this Ian LaPerriere line with Biles and Maddie Johnson tonight. They've really done their job. You think Maddie Johnson had a earth to play this game, really hasn't played up to his potential. And you know that he has been injured. He doesn't talk about it, but there has to be some sort of something keeping Mark Messe from being the dominant player that he normally is. So the Kings with a great chance to regain the two-goal advantage. 
Stumple off the draw to Robitaille, back to Galley. Plays it back down into the corner for Stumple. Stumple plays it up high. Blake with a shot. Hit the side of the post. Winds up on the far side. Craig Johnson sweeps it in deep. Rolls around. Robitaille pitchforks it to Stumple. Now to Craig Johnson. Johnson for Stumple. Stumple in the right corner. Stumple brings it out to the left circle. Plays it back down low. Robitaille walks in front. Centers across. Missing the tip was Johnson. Puck taken by the Canucks and played out to center ice. Onside, Messier with it, but he's checked immediately by Galley. Stumple now for Robitaille. Robitaille off for Craig Johnson. Chases it down inside the Vancouver end and uh, ties up one of the Canucks. Puck taken by Stumple. Stumple now along the boards. Stumple checked up high by Hedekin. In to help out Robitaille. Robitaille and Stumple battling two on two. Stumple has the puck. Now it tries to walk in front. He's checked. Back to the right point. The puck to Blake. Across to Galley. Down low to Robitaille. Robitaille holds on. Feeds to Stumple behind the net. Stumple now back behind the net for Robitaille. Got it back. Stumple. Now to Johnson. Score! A one-timer from the top of the left circle by Craig Johnson. And the Kings with a power play goal with 1.17 left. Second period have a 4-2 lead. Well, you could see the Kings on this power play with Mark Messi and Pavel Burry at the top of the box for the Canucks wanting to work down low because those two Canuck forwards are looking to go in the offense. A great job by the Kings to work the puck in and along the boards, fighting for loose pucks. Robitaille Stumpel, great job in the right corner of Kirk McLean coming with, out with that loose puck and Stumpel heads up play to Craig Johnson who's in the slot area makes a perfect pass and just as Johnson shoots that puck Rob Blake who had pinched in off the blue line originally ended up trying to get back to his point drifted in in front of Kirk McLean McLean did not see that puck ended up in the net the Kings back in the lead by two goals and it came on the first minor to McAllister so the Kings still have a man advantage and now a two goal lead again O'Donnell to the red line will shoot in Perot is out with Murray and Siplikov. Perot in there, checks uh, the Canuck off the puck. Puck winds up on the near side to Siplikov. Siplikov dumped it back down low to Perot, but it's intercepted and cleared by Ledyard. Kings on the target power play. Target expect more, pay less. Their fifth power play tonight. Under a minute to play in the period. Linden in the zone. Linden checked off the puck. Noon in the trailer with it. Moves in. Shoots. Over the net. He was tripped up. Penalty coming up on Berg. Delayed call. The Canucks play the puck down into their own end. And heading for the bunch bench is McLean. Here's Steos to Trevor Linden. Linden around Perot into the zone. And it poked off his stick. And we get the whistle from Terry Gregson. Tripping will be the call. A couple of nice moves by Brian Noonan. 21.6 left in the period and both clubs now shy a skater well situation we're going to see four on four hockey here for the last 21.6 seconds very important here for the mental makeup of this Kings team that they don't give up anything here they've got to play solid in their own zone you know that Tom Rennie head coach 21.6 left in the second 4-2 Kings in front fourth Kings goal power play Craig Johnson is sixth from Stumple Stumple now with 21 points including 14 assists the assist and point totals leading the club face off one by the Kings La Perriere to Blake Blake off for Craig Johnson Johnson being hounded to left it for Blake nice move Blake up the right wing side gains the red line and plays it past Burry into the Vancouver end seven seconds left here is Olin chase checked by La Perriere puck to Lume Lume with it and time expires <laughs> to end the second period. So the Kings scored a goal early, a goal late. The Canucks got one in between shorthanded, and the clubs will skate off, and the Kings have a 4-2 lead. And a good aggressive finish to that period by Ian LaPerriere. Really... You're not, you're not a beautiful woman. You're one of those... You're one of those... Ah! Drink Bud Ice, but... Uh... Beware of the Penguins. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. The next Kings family night is November 29th as the Kings host New Jersey. Four tickets, four Pepsis, four hot dogs, and free parking for $75. Call 1-88-KINGS-LA for your family night package. 
Brought to you by the L.A. Times, KBIG 104, Fox Sports West, Extra Sports 690, and Staples, the office superstore. Third period underway. The Kings in front. Burry into the zone with a shot deflected off Galley's stick into the crowd, and Burry pounds his stick on the ice in a bit of frustration, including tonight Burry, who once had back-to-back 60-goal -back seasons, Mike, only one goal in 10 games. And Burry has been really struggled this year as far as finding his real flavor with Mark Messier out there. The two of them are great players, but sometimes great players can't play together. They don't have the, the real mix chemistry-wise, and those two players haven't got it done. You think of that rush right there. It was a 4-4 situation. The Canucks had a three-on-two rush. Burry coming down the right wing, carrying the puck. Great opportunity to step off a say, but Gary Galley reads it, drifts over, gets a stick in front of it, and understandably so, Burry a little frustrated. Club starting the third, both shy a skater. In five seconds, McAllister out, and the Canucks will have a quick man advantage. 4-2 Kings, early third. Draw one by the Kings, and Moloch uses the boards to clear it out to center. Now Vancouver with a power play for 50 seconds. Their third man advantage tonight, they are zero of two. Bure is still out. Off for Messier on right wing, into the zone. Plays it in deep, tied up by Zamolik. Now it's a work behind the net to Trevor Linden. Linden plays it out to Bure, fanned on a shot, recovered. They get it down to McGilney. The big guns out for Vancouver. To Messier behind the net. Messier chased, checked by Blake. Blake steals, leaves the puck on the near wall for LaPerriere, who clears. A real good job by Blake. Pinching down on Messi, who was set up in his office in behind the net. Blake, though, read the situation well, used the angle to force Messi to one side or the other, and then just kept going on top of him, turning him into a turnover. Burray to the Kings line, but uh, bumped hard by Nordstrom off the puck, and the Kings will clear it down. Berg is out of the box, and the Kings are back at full strength. Early third period, 4-2 Kings. Linden checked off the puck by Stumple. Robotai steals. Robotai up the right wing, into the zone, driving wide, right circle, took a shot, he fanned on it. Sillinger, headmans for McGilney. To center ice, McGilney to the Kings line, stutter steps, is knocked down by uh, O'Donnell, no call. Now Nordstrom on the near wall, up for Robotai. Robotai takes a look. Robotai holding on, fires it across on right wing, soft pass, picked off and shot in by McGilney. Back is Nordstrom. Plays it up uh, past Robitaille off the glass and down the ice. On net, so play continues. Hedekin will pick up from his goaltender, McLean. Kings defending to our right here in the third. They're moving right to left offensively. To center ice, Donald Brashear. Bumped by Bilesma, but got the puck in deep. Out is Fisay, turned it over to Sillinger. Sillinger centers, puck bounces at the blue line. And a shot deflected in the air off the stick of Fisay. And Fassay will glove it. The shot from the blue line by Hedick and Fassay trying to get a little bit too cute in handling that puck, and it almost cost him. I agree with you there. Stefan Fassay, and Ian LaPerriere. That puck should have gone to Doug's Moore of defense, but he would have had more time to make a good pass, and I think it wouldn't have surprised the Kings forwards. It ended up as a turnover. Fortunate. Wasn't a great opportunity for the Canucks. Off the draw. Olin to shot. Blocked by a sliding Matt Johnson and deflected all the way down. Matty taking a page out of Dan Bilesma's uh, shot blocking expertise. 4-2 Kings, Canucks behind us on left wing to the Kings line, checked off the puck by Blake and LaPerriere turns and clears it back to center. Oland slaps back in. Fisay leaves for Zamolik. Zamolik clears it around the right wing wall. Bilesma couldn't reach it, it comes to center ice anyway. Oland, a rookie. Ahead for Bahanas to the Kings line. Hits the trailer and a shot fired by Linden. Save is made. Picked up by Mogilney. Lost the puck and Matt Johnson will clear to center ice. Back comes Ledyard for Mogilney. Over the line and on goal. Back checked off the puck. Kings steal and they break. Here's Murray on left wing in the zone with Perot. Drops for Perot. A shot. Score! Oh, another rocket by Yannick Perot. The Kings with an outmanned attack on Vancouver. Glenn Murray up the left wing side, went in the zone, dropped it for the trailer, and Perot with his second goal of the game beat McLean up high, glove side, 5-2 Kings. What a bullet by Yannick Perot, labeled top shelf right underneath the crossbar and inside the post, a perfect shot, but in defense of Kirk McLean, 
goaltender for the Vancouver Canucks. This is the fourth goal tonight that he hasn't been able to see the shot come at him. A great job by the Kings breaking up the offensive rush of the Canucks at the blue line. They go into transition. Murray carries it down, drops it to Pro. Back comes Siblikov. Scores! The Kings come right back with the Perot line. Right off the draw, Siplikov set up on left wing. Moves in, unloads from the left circle. 6-2, Kings. I am going to have to talk to this Kings forward line, Anna Croak, to not go back on offense so quick. I'm still talking about the last goal, for crying out loud. But Kings, what can you say about them? They have exploded here offensively against this Canucks team and it was right off a face off the Canucks really actually won this draw ends up though Sipikov on the left wing side just gets it skates down the wing the Canucks defense back in and really not much opportunity for Kirk McLean he is off into the bench right now Tom Rennie head coach of the Canucks has taken him off Sipikov great shot Low on the ice, far side, and you think what happened, the shot before it, up high. Kirk McLean still thinking about that one. Sipikov using his smart, gets it on the ice for the sixth Kings goal. Goals seven seconds apart to open up a 6-2 lead. Perot's goal, his 11th second tonight at 3.39, and then Sipikov seven seconds later set up by Yannick Perot. And now Archer Zerbe is on in relief of Kirk McLean, who just did not look sharp tonight. But as Mike said, not a lot of help. Back come the Kings again. Perot's line is still out there. How about this if they get three goals on one shift? Puck is in deep. Siplikov in the left wing corner, moves behind the net. Siplikov walks out. He tried to center. It's deflected away. Picked up by Lume. Lume pressured by Murray. Leaves for McAllister, long clear out to Burray on right wing. Burray to the Kings line. Burray cuts into the slot. Burray holding on, moves right in, left circle. Checked off the puck by Craig Johnson. Johnson bumped by Burray. Puck to Hedick in a shot. Block, bounces, and is picked up and cleared down by Nordstrom. This is going to be an icing call as Hedick touches. 15-14 left, third period. The Kings have opened up a 6-2 lead, and we'll take a timeout on the Kings Radio Network. The part by Perot and Siplikov has opened up a 6-2 Kings lead. One second away from tying a club record, fastest two goals. Off the draw, Hedick in a shot, missed the net. Steos up to keep in, clipped it down low, but the Kings steal. Don't clear, Hedick in again a shot. Loved by Fise. And Mike, with Fise making that glove save, almost routine, the way this game has developed, you can't overlook the play of Fasse in the first 30, 40 minutes of this game. It was still very much up in the air, but Fasse was outstanding, particularly early on when I think at one point the shots were 12-5 for Vancouver. Really was the difference early in this hockey game. Very calm, very cool in his own net. Off the draw, the puck uh, being fought for. The Kings play it off the left wing boards. Vopat got it out to center. Vopat, Craig Johnson, and McKenna up front. Sillinger through center ice for Vancouver. Over skated the puck. He was poke checked by Berg at the Kings line. Kings control. On the far wall, having trouble with it now is Craig Johnson at the left point. Hedick in a shot. Gloved by Fisse. Rebound cleared away. Now again, here is Olin with a shot. Deflected on. Save is made. Puck picked up by the Kings. Cleared off the glass and passed. Steos by Craig Johnson to center. Hedekin ahead quickly for Noonan in the zone. Spun off the puck. Penalty coming up on the Kings. Well, Brian Noonan on that shift die, dove twice out there. He was looking to draw a penalty. It happened in front of the net the first time. And that's for the Canucks if they're going to turn it around. Yannick Perot, two goals and an assist. And boy, Mike, uh, that line, uh, ever since the start of the last road trip, it's been, what, eight games now? They have... Uh, just been on fire offensively and they have not hurt the club at all defensively. Kings win the draw and play it down the ice. Bilesma chasing after with Burray. Fights off the check. Couldn't get a shot away. Bilesma now bumped by Burray. Vancouver with the power play. They're fourth tonight. They trail 6-2 to two. into the zone. Messier drops for Oland. Oland back for Messier. Broken up by the Kings. Not cleared. Kept in. Burray to Oland. 
Back to Bure to McGilney right circle. McGilney holding on his second game back. Now down low to Linden. Linden plays it right circle to Messier. Messier looking in front. Feeds to Mogilney. Forced behind the net. Now to Messier. He's checked. Puck picked up by LaPerriere. Turns and spins while being checked by Linden. You know, Dan Bosman does such a great job with working with Ian LaPerriere. He is really Ian LaPerriere's eyes. He allows Ian to freelance somewhat penalty killing. Ian always knows that Dan Biles is going to be in position to back him up. A minute on the Vancouver power play. Messier still out. Shoots in. Noonan battles in the corner with Nordstrom. Helping out Stumple. Cleared it around. Not out. Kept in by Olin. Played it behind the net. Someone's lost a glove. Now on the near wall, uh, Nordstrom checking Mogilny. And the puck uh, winds up to center ice. Picked up by the Kings. Stumple in the zone. Stumple drops it for the trailer. Craig Johnson, but it's picked off by Vancouver. Back they come the other way. Olin to the Kings line. Feeds it off to Naslin. Left circle a shot. Save is made. Rebound in the air. Cleared to the side boards. Stumple fighting off a check. Couldn't control it. Noonan controlling. Noonan's pass off a skate. Winds up at center. Picked up by Stumple. Stumple into the zone. Taken down by Noonan. Noonan falls as well. Naslin with the puck. Out for Sillinger. On right wing to the red line. His pass at a skate deflects right in on Fassay. Fassay leaves for Blake. Blake, I don't think, expected it. Canuck steal cleared around the boards. Nobody at the left point. Puck down into the Vancouver end. Berg out of the box. Kings at full strength. Still 6-2 Kings. Now a long lead pass by Vancouver. Tipped off a King stick into the Kings end. Went off Siplikov. The Perot line is back out. They've got three of the Kings goals tonight. Here is Glenn Murray to Siplikov, to Perot, into the zone, a shot! Score! The hat trick for Yannick Perot! And we've got a fight out at center ice. Rob Blake is involved. But a hat trick goal for Yannick Perot. Second hat trick this year. He's got 12 goals on the season to lead the club. 7-2 Kings. Well, an opportunity here by the Kings. Great job breaking up, and I think this is why the goal started. Rob Blake got flattened. He was the one that originally made that puck out of his own zone. I don't know if it was Corville who he's after here, but Blake took a hit to make a play. The Kings broke up. Sipikov supporting Blake, gets a pass, gives it up to Yannick Pro. Yannick Pro makes a decision early as he gets over this blue line to shoot the puck. And it's Lume stick that deflects this, changes the direction. Urbe, the goaltender for the Canucks, doesn't have much opportunity. He thinks that puck is going long side, ends up on the deflection to surprise him going back by him on the short side. Yannick Pro, the hat trick. Rob Blake following up, went right after the Canucks player, Corville, trying to get him into a fight. Very upset Blake was. Yannick Perot with a hat trick. The fans litter the ice with hats. Yannick had a hat trick in Detroit a couple of weeks ago. Here's the call. Nine points tonight for that line, and they just pick up where they left off a couple of games ago. They were silenced the other night with Montreal in town, but Perot, Siplikov, and Glenn Murray have emerged as the scoring threat for the Kings the last couple of weeks. And you look at not only what they're doing as far as offensively, but they're doing a great job defensively against the Canucks' best line. That's the Messi line. You, you look at this game, Messi does have a goal assisted by Burry, but if you remember, that happened as the Kings were on the power play, so it was a shorthanded goal for the Canucks. It wasn't the Yannick Pro line out there at that time, and that's what's really so impressive to me about this game with the pro line shutting down the Messi line set still able to contribute offensively and that's what coach Robinson really looked for from this line is to put some offensive pressure against that Canucks against that Messi line while it's still same time being responsible defensively so just a great performance by those three players Yannick Perot with 12 goals now and he just uh, moves up the list in the NHL 
Of course, the leader is a guy down the road who's been uh, on fire, Tamu Solani. But Yannick with a big night again. Playback underway. Blake instigating the fight. Gets the major with Corville, and Blake also gets an automatic misconduct. So he's gone for the rest of the night. Back comes Vancouver, Burray to Messier. Messier in the corner, checked by Berg. Puck winds up on the far wall to Lume. Lume plays it back behind the net. Messier bumped again, fed it out high, right point to Mogilny. Power play Vancouver to Burray, his pass, his block. And all Tom Rennie can do, you look over at him on the Vancouver bench, has put his hands in his pocket, very little emotion. I think he just knows the end is near. What can he do? All this talent and no results. Now Vancouver, Burry in the slot, a shot! Save is made with Mogilny and Messier in front, and Fassay will cover. Well, a perfect example of that talent. Five great players on the ice for the Canucks with their power play, yet really no one is able to take charge because there is everyone's looking at each other out there to in the same little restaurant where you propose the champagne chilling the waiter just brings in one step in for two and you get a two take you need maximum strength and the saw to relieve pain on contact no leading two take product you can buy is more effective in relieving pain maximum strength and the saw put it on the pain is gone oh and happy anniversary the temporary release of the pain is on the left Nick Nixon, Mike Allison back here at the Great Western Forum. The Kings have uh, put it almost away with three goals here in the third. A lot of time left, but it's a 7-2 Kings lead, 10-27 left. It gets Montreal as far as clearing that second shot opportunities away from Stefan Fassay. Stefan, the, for the most part, the shots that he has had to face, he has been able to see, and he hasn't had to worry about many rebound opportunities. Off the draw, Ledyard spinning, left point, dishes it off on the left wing wall. Controlled by Sillinger. Back to Ledger. Left point a shot. Deflected on. Save is made. Boy, Fassay really tracking that puck well tonight as Bilesma clears the zone. Ten seconds of the man advantage. Oland up the right wing boards. Over the line. Drops for Noonan. Noonan on the boards. Got it back to the point. Oland a shot blocked. Taken out. Right circle. Naslin moves in. He shoots. Save is made. Kings back at full strength. Out of the box. Picking up the puck is Robitaille. Robitaille to center ice, and Robitaille will shoot in. Earlier tonight, Robitaille with his 400th goal as a king. Now uh, the Canucks almost turn it over. Stumple was checked as he tried to get the pass in the slot in front of Archer's Herbe. And Vancouver able to clear the zone. Herbe on in relief of McLean, who gave up the first six Kings goals. Moger, a check on Olin at the Vancouver line. Kings get the puck in deep. Ledyard clears it off on the left wing boards and it winds up at center ice to Scatcherd. Scatcherd to Ledyard jumping up into the zone his pass broken up by a back checking Stumple. Stumple run at by Scatcherd. He hasn't played much. Kings get the puck and come to center ice. Robitaille cutting to his right behind the play Zamolik and Brashear are going to go. Zamolik and Donald Brashear and the two of them wrestle each other to the ice. A very uh, quick scrap here, and they'll be separated. Well, how that started, Donald Brashear had finished Gary Galley hard in the corner. And this is the difference in the Kings team, or one of the big differences than last year, the fact that chemistry, people sticking up for one another. Doug Smolek, who has already started up the ice, looked around, saw the big hit by Brashear, went over. And this is the message to Brashear that, hey, we're not going to allow that to happen as far as people running our my team Mike Perot with his second hat trick this year and of his career he now has a team high 12 goals that line was Siplikoff and Glenn Murray have accounted for nine points Murray has three assists and that's a career high for one game Siplikoff has one and one Canucks shoot in to say for Siplikoff Clears it ahead to center ice, chasing uh, is Hedekin along with Murray. Hedekin gets there in plenty of time. And the Canucks clear it back out to center ice. On the near boards, loose puck to Steos. For Burray, into the zone. Burray cutting to his left, throws it at the net. Kicked out by Fassay, it bounced on. Taken by Galley, cleared around the near wall. Galley goes after it himself, but Burray got there. Burray moves behind the net, 
Now he walks out of the backhand. Stutter steps. He's back at the point. Plays it across. Hedekin, a one-timer. Kicked out. Puck picked up by the King. Siplikov to Perot. Gains the red line and shoots in. That line is tired. They want to get off. Real big battle going on in front of that between Scott Walker and Nordstrom. Those two players going at it. Nordstrom not allowing Walker to set up in front of Stefan. Walker on the flip in. Puck on the right wing wall. O'Donnell had to work his stick free. It was being held. There's the puck around the near side for Berg. His outlet pass misses Vopot breaking. Winds up at the Kings line. Berg for McKenna. McKenna will wrist one in. Seven and a half left. Seven two Kings. At the right point, O'Donnell reached to try and keep in. He could not. And it's called on an offside. Kings hockey is brought to you by United Airlines, working toward a more professional travel experience. <laughs> Generation next. 7-2, the Kings in front. As uh, the Kings well on their way to tying the Mighty Ducks for second in the division. And both clubs would move to within, uh, or I should say the Kings will move to within four points of first place Colorado. The Avalanche, a winner earlier tonight in Detroit 2-0. Now behind the play we've got Matt Johnson. Big McAllister. And McAllister and this is all Matt Johnson. I think he stunned McAllister early on Mike and then he fell down and the linesman came in quickly. Well McAllister got the first punch in at this fight. It was Matty Johnson right off the face off that wanted to get at McAllister. He really initiated this whole pen. I don't think he's going to get an instigator here. These two guys dropped their gloves. McAllister took the first punch. And I really thought he hit Matty Johnson right off the bat, but he lost his balance, ended up going down to the ground, and Matty Johnson was on top of him, had him down really at his mercy. McAllister at that time just trying to cover up because really a situation there you get like that, you know that that player on top of you can swing the punches anytime he wants. And the referee linesman, they were following the play up the ice. Those two guys were way in behind everyone else. A long time before those linesmen got down there. The seventh fight tonight. Matt Johnson but equal strike with 7.01 left. 7-2, the Kings in front. Mike, Yannick Perot now with 12 goals. Only two players have more. Solani with 18 and John LeClaire with 16. Well, what a season Yannick Perot is ha having. Obviously, the Kings happy to have him back. You think he missed a big part of last year. One of the reasons the Kings didn't play as well last year as they have this year. Off the draw, Messier to the Kings line. Uh, curls, trying to make a play, but it deflects off a skate back to center. Picked up by Ledger, who's played a bunch here tonight. Shoots in. McKenna has the puck. Plays it ahead for LaPerriere to Galley. Galley into the zone. Galley back in front to LaPerriere and on goal. Shot save is made by Herbe. Oh, great setup on a little give and go. Galley to LaPerriere. Now back comes Bahanas to Messier on right wing. In the zone, he shoots. Deflected off Galley's stick and out of play. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Kings Radio Network. Ian LaPerriere deked out Urbe, the goaltender for the Canucks, didn't get it up over his pad. Off the draw, Steos, a shot through traffic is blocked. Murray with it. Murray across for Perot, looking for number four into the zone. Drops it across for a trailer at the right point. O'Donnell, he winds, he shoots. Save is made. Picked up on the near wall by Perot. Perot tripped up. Fed it back behind the Vancouver net. No one there for the Kings. Taken by Hedekin, who plays it down the left wing boards into the Kings end. Chasing it down as Walker. He centers. Broken up by Fassay's stick. Bounces in the slot. Picked up by Siplikov. Pokes it ahead to Glenn Murray. Murray into the zone on left wing. Winds a shot block. Picked up by Hedekin. Dishes off for Noonan. Now to Walker. Back to Noonan in the zone on right wing. Two on one. Noonan takes the shot. Now shoots. Save again by Fassay. Fassay continues his sharp play as the Kings bear it out to center ice. Stumple cutting to his right, leaves it for the trailer. Moger in the zone, driving wide and on goal, a backhander just wide. Right point, Galley turns, spins, and shoots wide. Winds up at the left point for Nordstrom. Plays it back behind the net to Robitaille. Robitaille holding on. Robitaille cycles it back for Stumple. Stumple now feeds behind the net for Moger, but he was picked. Loose puck taken by the Canucks and not cleared. Yes, Nordstrom couldn't keep it in. Now here's Stumple. Back quickly to Robitaille. Robitaille over the line. Tried to make a play. It's deflected. Robitaille got it back and shot it behind the net. 
Taken by the Kings. Moger centers high slot. Robitaille forced to the backhand. Now it's played in front by Stumpel. Nordstrom a shot. Kicked out. Canucks get the puck to center ice. Stumpel coming back. Leaves it for Nordstrom. He reached for it. Couldn't control. Taken by Scatcherd. Scatcherd is bumped up high by Nordstrom. They wrap each other up. Play continues. The uh, puck uh, turned over by the Kings. Burry in on goal. Centers. Broken up by Fassay. Oh, a great stick check off Burry, who tried to make a play in tight. Now, here's a shot by Oland, right circle wide. Ledger at the left point. Plays it down low to Scatcher for Nasland. He's bumped by Nordstrom, but he got the puck in the corner to Burry. Burry in traffic. Leaves the puck for Nasland. He's double teamed by two Kings, including Galley. Kings up with a puck. Stumple to the red line. He'll flip in as the Kings change. Matty Nordstrom has had trouble getting to this lineup early on for this for the Kings continues to play hard the last five, six games. He is a physical presence, frustrating a lot of the Canuck players tonight. Corville for Vancouver clears in out his facade to play it around the near wall. Picked up by Vopot to Craig Johnson on right wing. Over the line, drop to the trailer. Vopot centers in front. Goes off McKenna's stick as uh, we're going to get a penalty. McKenna driving the net. Reach back for the puck. He was upended and a penalty coming up. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back. 7-2 Kings on the Kings Radio Network. Now for Yannick. Third in NHL goal scoring behind Solani and LeClaire. And Vancouver now just over three minutes away from establishing a franchise record 10 straight losses. Burray. To center ice, a pass for McGillney at the Kings line is broken up. Now it's fed in by Olin. Back for it, LaPerriere takes a look, finds an opening, clears it up, not out. Olin knocked it down in the slot to Messier. Back to Olin, winds a shot, kicked out by Fasse. Picked up by the Kings and cleared, not out. Kept in by the leg of Ledyard. Sent it across, right circle, Messier a shot, and a save is made by Fasse. We're going to get a penalty. I think goaltending interference. Pavel Burry in front of the net trying to lift up Stefan Fassay's stick as Messe was shooting from the right side heading to the penalty box. You, you know, you look at the Vancouver Canucks, they've obviously a very frustrating e evening, frustrating 10 games. They're going to set a franchise record here with a 10 straight loss tonight. And one of the players, though, the tough situation right now to be in on their bench. Well, they've got to name a GM, and usually a new GM. It's just a matter of time before he brings in his own coach. Some of the rumors going around as far as GMs for the Canucks, Mike Keenan, John Muckler, two of just, I'm sure, a number that have to be looked at. 2.40 left. And the Kings in front, 7-2. to two. To center ice, here is Stumple for Perot. Picked off, anticipated by Nasland. Four cylinder to the Kings line. Back to Nasland, but checked by Nordstrom. Controlled by Stumple. Leaves the puck on the near wall for Nordstrom. He'll play it ahead out of the reach of Perot. It's uh, four on four. And then when Vopat comes out, a quick power play for the Kings. 2-10 left. Ledyard to Sillinger to the Kings line. Back to Ledyard. Broken up by Stumple. Stumple uh, to center ice, but the puck hit Perot in the skate and the play broken up. Back comes uh, Nasland into the zone. Drops it for the trailer. Sillinger, Sillinger. Now to Ledyard a shot. Saved by Fasse. Point blank. And right there, Stefan Fasse once again always providing the Kings with that solid goal. And even if they make a mistake, he's there to barrel them out. Kings allowing a team high. 41 shots against. First time an opponent has had 40 or more shots against the Kings this year. And don't think that Fasse has been a difference here tonight. He has. We go back to earlier in the game when Vancouver had a big advantage in the shots. Now a pass tipped out to center. Chased down by Craig Johnson, but he's uh, caught by Lume. Centers anyway. Score! <laughs> Great play by Johnson with one hand, fending off Lume, feeding Robotai, and Robotai paid a price. He went into that right post hard. Second goal for Luke tonight, his ninth, 8 2 Kings. One of the reasons the Kings went out and signed Russ Cordell is because he is able to skate, you have quickness, speed through the line of Craig Johnson. An example of what speed does to our opponent, Johnson, hard down the right wing. 
Lumay, the defenseman, just has to try to tie him up. But Johnson keeps his feet moving all the way down to the goal line. And even as Brian Noonan comes in looking like he's going to get the puck, Craig Johnson continues to, to push his legs into that with one hand on a stick, just somehow swipes it in front of the net. Luke Robitaille coming late, ends up on his stick. Great reaction by Robitaille to get the puck up quick, high, over top of Urbe to put that puck in the net. And the Kings, 8-2 to two lead here with minute 18 left. Nice play by Stumple to chip it out. Nice play by Johnson to fight off a check from Lume and center the puck blindly in front, and Robitaille was there. Stumple and Craig Johnson assisting on Robitaille's ninth. It's a power play goal at 1840. So the Kings power play goal with a couple markers here tonight. Under a minute to play. The Canucks feed it ahead on right wing out of the reach of Messier. Hockey Berg back behind his own net. Berg pass up the middle to Siplikov. Siplikov to center off for LaPerriere. Back to Siplikov in front, but he's tied up by McAllister. Now Corville for Vancouver. Drops to Lume. Lume outlets to Bure. Bure on right wing is passed to his left to Messier. Tipped into Fisse. Easy save, and Fisse will cover with 19 seconds left. Eight, two Kings, and with the eight goals, the Kings right now lead the National Hockey League in goal to 6 0 and 0. Off the draw, Matt Johnson will clear down. Ten seconds left. Matt Johnson looking at Brashear, but everybody's going to make sure nothing develops. We get a whistle, nine seconds left. <laughs> and Ian LaPerriere skates by Brashear and says something, and he, he looks at Ian LaPerriere as if he wants to get into it, but good call by the referee there. He wants to set it down. He knew Brashear is the one that's trying to instigate this. It's a obviously a, a frustrating night for the Vancouver Canucks. You can understand why Brashear trying to get something going here. He's trying to feel some sort of positive about him himself here at the end of the game. Matty Johnson good presence on the ice not to get involved early. I don't see how this benefits Matty Johnson and the Kings getting the strap with less than 10 seconds. So nine seconds left and Matt uh, and Brashear go to their respective rooms. And again, Mike, I keep looking over at Tom Rennie. I don't think he's moved the entire third period. He's right in the middle of the bench, hands in his pocket, just looking out there. I, th I think he just can't you know, believe that, to be honest with you, his NHL coaching career might end like this. They are. His team really has quit here, unfortunately. And, you know, you lose 10, 10 games in a row with this lineup. That's uh, There's no way that should happen. Off the draw, Lume just circling at center ice. And there's the buzzer. The Kings win convincingly. They put it away with four here in the third period. Eight to two, the final. The Vancouver Canucks have now lost a franchise high 10 straight games. Eight to two, the final. We'll be back. The Los Angeles Kings Radio Network. The airport on the curb. Uh, this is Mal Sharp, your man on the street for Shuttle by United. Your name is? My name's Tom. What were I'm the penalties at the end? Right you see a lot of these business problems. Penalties yeah. at the end? They are accumulating. Two or two? Flyer, well, where do you think they're dreaming of going? Hawaii or Cleveland? Hawaii, the big island? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, beautiful beaches. And... Well, what's wrong with Cleveland? Cleveland, I, I mean, no. I don't know. What do they have there? What's with other Cleveland? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you fly Shuttle by United and you accumulate your frequent flyer miles, you can use them on any of the routes in the world that United flies. Yeah. When you go on that other short hop airline, you know the one where you got to wait in line at the airport with the number to get on? Sure. You can only go to the city they fly to, like Cleveland, Spokane. No, they want to go on, on a trip to Europe or someplace exotic. Or on Malta. If you fly shuttle by United, you can go to those places. Yeah, I look at it in New Zealand. And okay, the short hop airline. Yeah. Okay, well, I would not go to New Zealand. Yeah. Going to the beach in Lubbock, Texas wouldn't be an interesting experience. Uh, do they have a beach in Lubbock? <laughs>